Today's video is starting all natural. Nothing in my hair for now, that'll change. Now smooth hair is something that uh, everybody would like to have. And I was, while I was planning this video, I was trying to think about how I'm gonna present to you guys this kind of information because uh, there's a lot of videos out there, you know, use leave-in conditioners, do this and that, and I feel like the subject's been covered quite a bit. So I'm bringing you guys kind of a different angle on some tips and tricks that you can do throughout your day to achieve softer, smoother hair. So that's what I'm doing today. So today's silky smooth hair tips are being brought to you by some hair, 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 hair serums. Except, and this is a leave-in conditioner. The rest of these are different, different serums and oils and whatnot. Now the most effective way to achieve smooth hair fast is through the use of these hair serums. Hair serums in general uh, are usually designed for quick results in terms of feeling smooth, feeling silky, uh, feeling more manageable. So I'm not so much talking about long-term results, although using some of these products long-term will result in naturally healthier hair. I'm more talking about immediate benefit of getting silky smooth hair like right now if you wanted to. So what I've got here as an example for today, um, this is the only non-hair serum me slash oil. This is a leave-in conditioner that I've shown you guys before. Uh, one of my favorite leave-in conditioners. We've got argan oil, which is another classic uh, Bloom On item to use. We've got this right here, Silk is Smooth by TG or TG. I don't know which one is correct. Uh, this is a hair serum. And then my personal favorite in the category of smooth hair, is this right here, Super Skinny Serum by Paul Mitchell. Again, this is not the normal bottle that it comes in, this is a breast cancer awareness one. Uh, I'll link you down in the description, all of these different things so you can check them out. Now, as a guy, one of the best benefits of having a smooth hair or soft hair is the ease of application styling products uh, that go into your hair. For example, products that some might consider sticky, all of a sudden they're not quite as sticky. They're not as tuggy and pulley if you have hair that is manageable, hair that cooperates, hair that is smooth, silky, and soft. So that's really the focus I wanna bring to you guys. How can we make your products at home um, feel nice when you're applying it into your hair, when you're running your hands through your hair throughout the day, so on and so forth. Now, I'm about to go style my hair, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get it wet. I'll be right back. I use a blow dryer, obviously, and I usually use a pre-styler. During the pre-styling process is when you can take advantage and start making your hair uh, feel smoother, especially for that product. So say I'm using some of this right here, original styling Meraki. I can either go through with this just uh, on its own. For my hair type, I do generally take care of my hair. That's not much of a problem, but what you can do to increase smoothness and have optimal silky feelings, start out with a serum. So that's what I'm doing right here with this Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum, like so. And now this is doing a couple of things. A, it's adding uh, immediate silkiness, a, a, an immediate silky feeling to my hair. It makes my hair feel so soft and it makes it immediately feel more manageable and more controllable. That's advantage number one. And then at this point, I still have a lot of it left over on my hands. Uh, it feels slippery and kind of slimy. And this coating, this additional coating, is going to make my actual pre-styling product feel so much smoother than it naturally, or than it like does on its own. So I'll take my normal amount, like so, and the breakdown, now that my hand has been coated with the serum, application is completely seamless. Goes through no problem whatsoever. Even just using that small amount as part of my pre-styling process, my hair feels really nice. And this is before applying any uh, post-styler, any finishing product. Now before I do apply a finishing product, because I have something to talk about that as well. During the pre-styling process, if you've applied some kind of hair serum, but you feel like you need even more smoothness to get your other, you know, your pre-styler that actually has hold. For example, I used uh, Smooth 
in this circumstance. You can actually apply additional pre-styler to your hand and then take a scoop of your pre-styler, apply it on top of that, mix that together, and then apply to your hair. That's another very effective way to apply your pre-styler in the smoothest way possible. Your hair's gonna feel really soft. There's not gonna be any tugging or pulling. Try it out if you feel like you're struggling with a tug and pull in that circumstance. Now I've got one more thing to share with you guys. This one is a good one, so listen up. Have you ever experienced one of those times when you're styling your hair and you accidentally apply too much product as a post styler? All of a sudden your hair becomes really stiff and brittle and sticky maybe. It doesn't look natural, it's not comfortable, it's not in the right position. You done messed up, basically. I've been there in the past, I do love my clay products. Another sneak peek, real quick sneak peek. Uh, peek. Sneak, sneak peek, Bloomon X Cameron Cretney, Cavalier Clay, coming up. What was I saying? I do love hair clays, but if you apply a little bit too much, it can get real thick, real quick. So to demonstrate this for you guys, I've got this right here. Got to be, it's a product that I featured in the worst hair products of all time video. Uh, however, I did say in that video, this product is actually not that bad. But what I found out is that if I do use too much, my hair becomes extremely hard to run my fingers through. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna take too much on purpose. I got a, a delicious finger scoop right there full of creamy product. Last time I used this stuff, it's so creamy, I didn't realize it was gonna have so much hold. But uh, it gets pretty intense here after it dries up. Just gotta give it a few seconds. Work it in there. Yeah, it's happening. My hands are now not enjoying, I'm sure should, should I say my hair is not enjoying this process too much. Just to give you guys an idea of uh, how much stickiness we're dealing with or how much hold or I don't know what to call it. Hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea. It's pretty serious. Like my fingers get stuck. That's what I'm trying to say. So obviously this is a bit of an over dramatization. Point is I'm sure we've all been there where we apply a bit too much product and we'd like to reduce that down a bit. Now, I'm using Paul Mitchell Smoothing Serum for most of these examples because it is my favorite. Uh, I find it to be the most effective. That said, other smoothing serums will also work to a certain degree. I'm gonna take two pumps and let's see the magic happen. Boom. Look at that, instant. My hands run through my hair as if nothing's happened. Smoothing serums kind of have this ama uh, magic ability to break down product and uh, make it your hair extremely manageable once again. Also your hair might look a little bit wet, like my hair looks a little wet now because of it, but after that dries down, it'll, it'll go back to looking normal. So I'm just gonna wait for my hair to dry, then I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like. But as you can see, no problem running my hands through my hair once again. All right, so it's mostly dried up uh, pretty much completely. My hair is still soft and manageable. It's not tuggy and pulling, still in place. Everything is A-OK. -okay. If you try this at home and you find that your hair is a little bit mushy and kind of flopping over, then use less than what I showed you here. Even I think that I could have gone away with using one pump instead of two. Um, so, you know, just experiment Smoothing serum will definitely help. If you use too much, your hair will become kind of droopy. So don't use too much, but just the right amount, you'll balance between not having your hair rock hard and uh, uncomfortable. Well, my friends, that's the end of the show. The end of the Bloom On show today. It's all I got to share with you guys. Uh, all of this stuff will be linked in the description down below. Uh, I know I focus mostly on Paul Mitchell because that's the one that I like the most for these kind of things that I shared today. However, they're all good stuff. All down below. Thank you guys for watching. If you got any questions, I don't know, ask a friend. Uh, I'm, I'm probably busy. I'll see everybody next time.